Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another haul. I know. <laughs> I'm not even saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Ulta had a sale. They had their spring beauty sale. I know this video is late. I've been trying to make sure I had enough stuff filmed before the move so that I wouldn't have to take a long break. So cranking out videos, trying to get all this stuff filmed for you guys. So... I can get my new room set up. So I finally got the last thing in that I was waiting for. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I got because it's some good stuff. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, I would love to welcome you to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mainly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see all the goodies I picked up during the Ulta Spring Sale, I think that's what it was called, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so first things first, we are going to start with the item. Everybody's been talking about, I know I'm a little late, but I finally got my hands on this. This is the Kat Von D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. Now the good thing is I have three shades. So I was able to find I think two online and then one in store or I don't know what but I picked up tan 68, tan 70, and tan 74. Tan 70 was the shade that I originally picked up because I thought that was going to be my shade. I'm going to show you guys swatches of all of them because I am going to do a comparison with the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I have that one in the shade Amber. I have worn it and I really like it. This is shade 68. So this is the one I was waiting for that just came in today. And I'm going to do my chest swatches so you guys can see the difference. But I think, I think this one's my shade. And I'm going to put it on this side because I'm also going to show you the Milani. So that's 68. We'll just let it sit. Then I will show you 70. I've tried this one. So this is what 70 looks like. I thought 70 was going to be my shade. And I also have 70 in the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. And it is a good match for me. I showed you guys that in my last video, the Fenty Skin Tint video. So if you want to see what that looks like, go check that one out. Yeah, I don't think they look the same. This looks a little red. And then I'll show you... This is 74. 74, I think, is a little too olive for me, but I don't know. Because at first, I was like, oh yeah, that is definitely my shade. So those are the three right there. So just give you guys a little bit more of a close-up. That's the three. 68, 70, and 74. Now I'm going to get the Milani and I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, so like I said, in the Milani, I have 275 Amber. So that is what this looks like. I will put a swatch here next to the one I thought was going to match. Great, none of them do. Or I need a shade even lighter. <laughs> Well, when I do my comparison video, we're just going to have to make it work. We're going to let these sit. We're going to let them dry down, oxidize, whatever they're going to do. And we're going to go through the rest of the haul. All right. So up next, we have this duo glue. This is in the white clear formula. It says it has rose water and biotin. It's a strip lash adhesive. It does have the brush tip applicator. I picked this up because I have not really been enjoying wearing my magnetic lashes that much anymore. I don't know, just sometimes I feel like they're harder to put on than these. But at the same time, this says all day hold, but I like that it has the biotin. So I feel like it'll kind of help them grow even after it rips them out. 
I don't know. I always get really anxious. This does say formaldehyde and latex free. I just don't want to lose my lashes. I've been spending money on lash serums. Y'all know my grande lash. I love it. But it's $70 and I don't want to spend money on that and then just turn around and pull all my lashes out. So I want to keep using stuff that's going to help them grow. So that's why I picked this up. Next, these were on sale and I don't think I've ever seen these before. And then when I Googled them and looked on YouTube, I saw that the Fancy Face Tina had done a video on them. These are the Winky Luxe Cheeky Rose Cream Blushes. Y'all, okay, this is the packaging, super cute, but I don't know if you can see that inside. It is actually a rose. I'm gonna open them, I'm gonna swatch them, but these are just, I honestly think I bought them more for the packaging and for the presentation than I did for how they work. I have no idea how these work. But look at how cute that is. I hope you guys can see that this is a rose. It comes in this little spear case. So that's it there. And then when you open it, it is legit a freaking rose. How cute is that? And it's a cream blush. This is in the shade Crown. It says cream, but it's really soft. It's, it's stiff, but it's coming off on my finger like a normal cream would. So this is the shade Crown. Oh, that's pretty. That's what the shade looks like there. And then the other shade I have is Dodgy. Wouldn't these just look so cute in my beauty room? I wish it was silver, but you know how that goes. So this is Dodgy. So it's a little more pink. These are actually kind of similar. Not 100%, but I feel like they're kind of similar. So I just thought these were cute. Yeah, they're not that close. One's a lot more cool tone, but I really liked the presentation and I just thought these would look absolutely beautiful. Up next, I bought this Juvia's Place, the Nude Mauve's Velvety Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Kebi, Kebi, K-E-B-I. I do have one of these. I have no idea where it is because all my stuff is packed. Um, oh, a mauve moment. That's the one I have. And I loved it. This one is a little darker and it's a little more cool tone. So I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys here. So that's what that looks like. But I love shades like that. I think it's so pretty. And I loved the other one. I love the formula of it. Like these, this reminds me, it's a little bit darker. Then my um, Too Faced Melted Chihuahua. But shades like that, like I could do that all day in my sleep. I think those go with anything. I picked up some more press-on nails. I picked up these two. I think I've, I'm pretty sure I've had these before. This is the short length, the Impress Press-On Manicure. Does it say a shade name? This is in Flawless. So kind of a cool term, toned purple. And then it has the accent nails down there. These, I don't know when I'm wear because I cannot wear this in the gym. This is the Vogueish Fantasy Long Length in the style Tamano Largo. I guess that's what it's called, but look at how gorgeous these are. Like I just thought these were so fun and this is more like, okay, we're dressing up. We want something nice. So that length is just going to be long, but I like that it has all the different colors like it's different accents and you can kind of mix it up however you want so thought those were cute next thing i picked up is this physician's formula butter believe it skin mist this is their muru muru butter setting spray it says it's a micro fine mist infused with muru muru butter oh uh y'all not about to do this to me another butter and another butter <laughs> to deliver a radiant flawless airbrush finish uh, leave skin silky soft, blah, blah, blah. Refresh makeup and set your makeup for all day wear. Y'all know we gotta check this sprayer, please. Oh, it definitely smells like holiday. Like all of the Physician's Formula Butter stuff, that's what it smells like. But good mister on this one. Oh yeah, I like that mister. No big chunks on my face. 
We're good. I like this. I also picked up the Physician's Formula Putty Primer. I didn't know they had this, and I was just scrolling through Ulta's sale stuff, and I found it. So it looks very similar to the e.l.f. Putty Primer, like same kind of texture, same color, I think, too. Um, but it does say that it's a luxurious, velvety smooth putty primer infused with our butter blend for radiantly soft poreless complexion, incredibly creamy and soft texture, preps the skin and allows makeup to glide on for smooth all day wear. And it has their butters in it. it says can be worn under foundation or alone. It does kind of have a scent to it. It looks exactly like the e.l.f. But it is a lot wetter. That looks like a balm. I see that on my finger? That almost looks like a balm. So it's not the same dry formula. I was thinking it was going to be similar to my... Oh... Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see right there. When I put it on my arm, it kind of looks like it has a tiny, tiny bit of a sheen, but I don't think it's coming off on the in the camera. But that is not the same formula as the e.l.f., so I will be excited to try this one. Next, I bought a backup of my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. These were on sale, I think, for 30% off. I almost bought two. But I was like, Barbara, calm down. You already bought another setting spray. Calm down. So only got one, but I love this. I love the mister. I love the way it works. So I just grabbed it back up. The next thing I picked up is this L'Oreal Paris. Uh, this is their Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylus. This is in the shade Dark Brunette 642. This is one of those brow pens that has the three prongs on it that's supposed to help mimic hair like strokes. I've never tried any of these and since I've been wearing my brows a little bushier, I wanted to see. So this is what the applicator looks like. I don't know if you guys can see how it has the little teeth on it. And then, oh, oh, a lot comes off on there. So that's how it looks. It definitely has strokes on it, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna have to try this soon. I'm gonna keep this out. I ain't packing it because I wanna try that now. The next thing, I picked up these Real Technique brushes, and there's actually, I bought three of each. So one of them is the setting powder brush, and then the other one is their concealer brush. You know, know I love concealer brushes for blending out my concealer under my eyes before I use my sponge. So I've never tried, I always use the e.l.f. one. I've never tried theirs. So I wanted to try that. And then I've been liking to use a brush to put my powder under my eyes, especially here in the corners or if I'm not wanting to bake. All right, so this is the concealer brush. It's actually, I thought it was gonna be a little more round, but you can see the ferrules pinched just a little bit here and then it kind of goes a little wider. But that could be good getting in the inner corner. So I think this will work well. And it's a dense brush. And then this is the, this says for setting powder and highlighter. So this is what this brush looks like. I feel like my camera's taking long to do stuff. Very, yeah, this could be a highlighting brush, but that's not why I got it. I got it to set under this area here. So I think this will be perfect. I love Real Techniques brushes, so whenever they're on sale, I never need brushes. I ain't even going to try to tell that lie, but if I'm interested in certain brushes, I try to get them on sale, and this is a good brand. I also picked up this Main Choice, the Alpha Growth Oil. It says, timeless length and lasting retention releases clogged oil and buildup on the scalp. Helps to revitalize and rejuvenate the scalp. It says for all hair types, I just like using this. If I know within the next couple of days I'm going to wash my hair, I tend to use heavier oils on my scalp just to kind of douse my hair in hydration a little more than I normally would before I wash it. And I really like using stuff like this in the front of my hair because if my hair starts shedding, that's where it's coming from. So 
I have no idea if this is good or not, but it says that it can be used daily. So hopefully it is not too heavy. I picked up one hair product, another hair product. I'll go ahead and get that out the way. This is also by Main Choice. And this is their, I think this one's a serum. This is their Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage and Repair Split-In Treatment Serum. Helps to support natural growth and retention. This says infused with biotin and vitamins A, B, C, and D. So this is more just for your ends versus this one is more for your scalp. I found two more packs of nails. I just have all this stuff stuffed in a box. Did I really? I sure did. I bought another box of the same ones I had earlier. I don't know if I did it on purpose or not. <laughs> but it's in here, oh well. And then I also bought, these you have to glue on, but these are the Ardell Nail Addict Premium. I like these because they have different colors. So you see it has this purple here at the top, and then this is a glittery shade here in the middle, and then a pink. So I think these all go well together, and the glitter is pink and purple. So every now and then I do glue on nails, but I don't know, I think my nail beds are too flat. And so they don't, like they get air bubbles underneath and then they pop up quick. So if you guys have any suggestions for good um, glue on nails that are for flatter nail beds, comment below and let me know because I waste my money on those a lot. Hopefully these aren't a waste, but we'll see. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. I got an eyeshadow palette, but this actually came as a free gift because with my Kat Von D foundation that I ordered, the Apple Bomb, if you spent $50 in Kat Von D products, you got this eyeshadow palette for free. So I ended up ordering the um, Good Apple Balm, and then I ordered this EXO Vinyl Obsessions Mini Lip Cream Set. So I had not tried these yet, and I used to love the Kat Von D liquid lipstick formula. So these are some minis. So you get these four little lip creams, which I didn't even know they made. These are not the same as their standard. So this is Tulip. Ooh, those are opaque. I wonder if they're gonna dry down. So that's Tulip, very bright. I also watched the other red next to it. This is Hollyhock, so you can see the difference. So that's Hollyhock there. Then we have Carnation, which is right up my alley. I used to swear I could not wear nudes. Right there. And then this last one is Blossom. This is more of like a peachy, that kind of milky cream peachy color. I don't know what you want to call that. But so that's the shades there. And I thought it was cute because I get to try a new formula. And I get many sizes of it. And I think this was like $12 or something. So definitely worth it to be able to get this palette. This palette, I don't know how I feel about it because when you look on the website, it has a lot of good reviews. But then when I opened it, I was so unimpressed that I was just like, why? I mean, the packaging's cute, but it's, you know, sustainable. You can recycle the whole thing, all that good stuff. It's called the Edge of Reality Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not a fan of the packaging, but I know that's not what I got it for. And then these are the shades here. No mirror. So, I don't know. I mean, it's all right. And like when you look at some of these shades, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This looks kind of like a multi-chrome. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one down here as well kind of flips to a... It's not showing... Let me see if I swatch it. Oh, that's okay. Maybe I should have swatched these before I opened my big mouth. It's weird because the formula is kind of powdery, but these. Hmm. So that's the shades there. So those are the two duochromes I was talking about. And then this is just one of the other foiled shades. But this, this, one, this formula is a little different. And that's what they look like with the residual on my finger. So you can kind of see they're very shiny, very sparkly. All right. Well, 
I'm going to eat my words. Again, I think I just wasn't impressed with the mats. I'm going to shut up <laughs> and I'm going to just try this on. So I'm going to keep this out, not packing it, and I'm going to try this on and I'll keep you guys posted on that one. Up next, I picked this up on a whim. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders. I've been having really good luck with face palettes. This is the Dark Deep Shade, and it says it's a 4-in-1 palette, stunning mix of bronzer, highlighter, blush, and a translucent setting powder. That's... That is very dark. I wonder if there... Was there a medium to deep? Oh, Lord. Well, that is not my setting powder. Y'all, look at how dark these are. This one is supposed to be a setting powder. That is way too dark. Ew, Barbara. I'm telling y'all, your girl does not know. I don't, I. <laughs> All right, let's see what this highlighter looks like. She is very gold. So that's the four shades there. This is the setting powder down here. And then bronzer, blush, highlighter. So let's go ahead and swatch. Ooh, that highlighter's pretty. Blush is pretty. Bronzer is very dark. And setting powder is too dark. I don't know. I'm just so used to these brands doing stuff that isn't deep enough for us that you always think you have to go for the darkest shade that they have available. But that was not the case in this one. The next thing I picked up, I picked up a lip liner from Juvia's Place. And this one's in the shade Cola. And this, I believe, is just like a brown. The other one I have is in the shade Scorpio. And it's a little more red than what I originally thought. This one looks like it's more of a medium brown versus a dark brown, which is good because I have a lot of dark brown ones. It's not as light as I thought it was going to be. That's dark. But so I have some other ones that are about this dark, so it'll be fine. But yeah, I thought this was a little more, I mean, compared to how the top of this looks, you would not think that that's what's coming out of there. But that's what happens when you have to buy stuff online. You may not get what you think you're getting. I decided to pick up two drugstore palettes. One, I don't know why I have been eyeballing this thing for months and I told myself I didn't need it. Told myself I wasn't getting it, and then I bought it because it was on sale for $5. This is the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Downplay. This is Cool Tone Neutrals. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I want that. And then I bought all those other Cool Tone palettes over the summer. So I was like, Barbara, you don't need that one anymore since you have all the other ones. Plus, I picked up the Artistry Palette which has shades very similar to this. So I kind of feel like I'm double dipping. These bottom ones are pressed glitters. Very messy. Let's go ahead and see what that black looks like. That is pretty dark. And then let's swatch this bronze shade. Oh, those are pretty. This would be a very cute like travel palette or put in your spin a night bag. If you want to have something where you can do a nice neutral look or if you want to have something where you can kind of amp it up and do a little darker oh that black is nice oh that came off better than i okay i'm not mad at all that i got that so these are the shades here that's that sparkly one i thought it was gonna be more like a topper but if you really work it into the skin that is gorgeous so now i can finally stop eyeballing it because i finally picked it up and i got a really good deal on it Another eyeshadow palette I picked up, it's another drugstore palette. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon palette. This is in the shade Lights Off. This is the new packaging that they have. I don't have any of these. And I think I was really curious about this one because the shades are kind of cool toned. So, and then now, y'all know I always try to come up with an excuse. Swatching this one up here is a bit of a topper come off. I also like there's a green in here. This is the green. Then this is one of the glittery shades. Feels like a topper. This one's a little more metallic. And then this is that kind of steel gray smoky. And then this is the other gray with the glitter sparkles in it. I mean, that could be pretty. That's 
I don't know. You gotta try them on the eyes. I know swatches don't tell everything. That shade is pretty. Yeah, that's definitely more of a topper. Oh, and that green's pretty pigmented too. So that's the shades there. This is just, I mean, that's the thing with eyeshadows from the drugstore. You may have to work with them a little bit more, but you can still get really pretty looks. I just sometimes don't understand the color story because I'm like, why did you need a black, a dark gray with sparkles and a black when you only have 10 shades? You could have put something else to have a little more variety, but that's just me, the makeup enthusiast that I am. Four more products and then a surprise. I also have been eyeing this NYX High Glass Face Primer. This is in the shade Sandy Glow. It's a face primer. It's supposed to help with giving you a little bit of radiance. It's also supposed to be gripping and it's supposed to be like that high glass look. I'm wondering now that I'm looking at this, how close it is to my, y'all. This might be a dupe for my um, Charlotte Tilbury. You remember my haul where I showed, go check it out, I'll link it right here. My haul where I showed um, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Sephora haul. Flawless filter in shade deep six and a half, literally the same thing. This melts into my skin, almost the same shade with a little bit of glow. Oh, baby, this was $9. Charlotte is $45. Put that on everything. Swear for Lord, this is a dupe. The next thing that I picked up, this is the Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. This was on sale, and this is a huge box. I didn't know that it came in this size. I've used this before. I had a little sample, and I liked it. But seeing that it was on sale, I was like, you know what? Why not? And it comes with a little spatula. This is huge. That's gonna last me forever. Comes with this little spatula and there's a plastic tray in here that you can put on top. I'm assuming to help. Okay, we're not gonna open that. It comes sealed, but yeah, it's just a cleansing balm. And like I said, I've used it before. I liked it. So when you can get a jumbo size product, I use these every single time I take my makeup off, especially if I have a face full. I'll always grab stuff like that when it's on sale. I grabbed a Touch and Soul Icy. We talked about this in the giveaway video. Um, Icy Sherbet Primer. I guess it's probably not, but I was thinking it might be kind of similar to... Nope, not even close. This is a very interesting texture. Has a little bit of a fragrance to it. I don't know what that smell is. It's not bad, but oh no, this is, it's cold. It's cold. Okay. Well, it says cooling, but yeah, it is cold. It doesn't feel like silicone. Well, yeah, it does. It does kind of feel like a silicone primer. So it will definitely smooth. You guys can't see that. I don't know why I'm showing you. Um, it will definitely smooth out your pores and stuff, but cooling effect, yes, because when you dip your finger in here, it's cold. We will see how that works. I'll have to try that with a foundation that I know works well to make sure I'm giving it a fair chance. The last thing I picked up, I decided to grab this on a whim because I was thinking about decorating in my new beauty room. This is the G by Gennaro makeup holder. It comes in this nice little box, super cute, opens like this, and I almost dropped it. And then it says eyes, lips, and face on it. And it's just a little brush holder, but I thought it was cute. I thought that would be cute to put up on a shelf in my makeup room and store some brushes in it. So yeah, I don't remember. This might have been like five bucks or something like that. Not expensive at all. And then the last thing I got, this is a gift with purchase. And honestly, it Y'all, this is how weird I am. If there is a gift with purchase that I really want, I will keep products in my cart that are on sale for moments like that. That was also part of what sparked this haul. So they had this gift set. If you spent $60, I think it was, then you got this gift set. And you know why I wanted the gift set? Because it has the NYX Marshmallow Primer in it. And I've been wanting to try that. 
but I refused to pay twenty dollars. And I just wanted to try it. Like I didn't even know if I really wanted it. So when I saw that was in there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab it. But the other things that they have in here, this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara. It has volume, length, and definition. Never tried it. Probably never would have picked it up, but hey, now I get to. It also has the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray. I don't know about that matte finish, but I love keeping little ones like this in my purse or in my travel bag. I also got this LA Girl Nudie Lipstick. I mean, this is some good stuff. Oh, that is pretty, I think. Oh, that's a nice formula. And that's a really cute, like, everyday nude. And especially, you can always deepen these up if you put a darker primer. Uh, a primer. I swatched it over primer. If you put a darker lip liner with it. So, I like this formula. Oh, that's some pigment to cover up what I have on. Help lighten that up a little bit. This is cute. And it has that little magnetic closure. So, that's cute. Then, I also got this mineral bath salt this is in eucalyptus so you can put this in the tub for a little pamper night then i got this Ooh, this is the cake naturally luxe beauty the smooth move moisture melt hair mask moisture surging deeply nourishing softest silk strands i love hair masks love so never heard of this brand but if it's good i might end up buying it later here is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. So I finally get to try this. Then I got this La Roche-Posay. This is a sunscreen. Double Repair Face Moisturizer and SPF 30. So a little small SPF. Then this is the Chlorine Nutrition and Reparation Nourishing and Repairing Shampoo for very dry damaged hair. I've told you guys, when I do my hair, I always treat it like it's damaged because I don't want it to get damaged. So it's always hydrating, repairing, moisturizing, conditioning. Like that's all the products I use. So I don't know if this is enough to wash my hair, but whatever. And then last is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen in SPF 30. And it says sheer tint for your face. So nice little cute bottle. And I like that it says hydrating. So haven't tried that. This will be something else good to throw in my purse. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. Let's check on these foundations. So this is where we are with the shades all dried down as much as they're going to get. This right here is the Milani. I have worn this and I felt like it was a pretty good match. This is a lot lighter than I wear my foundations, y'all know but it matches. Let's be real. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys seem to love my haul videos. And as much as I love shopping, we can't keep doing this. So we're going to get back into doing some tutorials. I got to show you guys the stuff that I bought and let you know if it's actually worth it or not. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, again, we would love to have you join the family. So subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you're anxious to see, what you want me to film next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.